Hi, for this video what we're going to do is construct a 99% confidence interval and I'm going to use the TI Inspire to help us find our um, critical value T and also how to run the whole confidence interval in your TI Inspire graphing calculator. So what we have here is we have a random sample of 20 people. The mean commute time to work was 33.7 minutes with a standard deviation of 6.8 minutes. And we are going to assume the population commute time is normally distributed. So what we are doing is we are creating a confidence interval for the parameter, the population parameter um, for mean. And so that tells us since we have mean, we are either going to be dealing with a T interval or a Z interval. And remember the difference is we use a Z interval if we know the population standard deviation, and we use a T interval if we are dealing with a sample standard deviation. So for this particular case, since it's describing a sample, it's saying in a random sample, the mean is this and the standard deviation is this. So we're talking about a sample standard deviation here. So we would use a T interval um, since the sample standard deviation is known and sigma is unknown. Okay, the other conditions, remember you do have to have a sample size that is greater than or equal to 30. Since our sample size is only 20, it has to state that it's normally distributed. So it says to assume the population is normally distributed. Um, so since this is not true, but we have a normal distribution, we're okay. Okay. The last thing that we have to have is we have to have a random sample, and it does tell us that it is random. Um, make sure that you check your text uh, because there are different interpretations of requirements, um, so that is very important. All right, so our level of confidence that we are using is 99%, so our confidence is 0.99. Our sample size is 20, um, which means that our degrees of freedom are 19, because remember the degrees of freedom is equal to n minus 1. The x bar, our sample mean, is 33.7, and our sample standard deviation is 6.8. So this is all of the important information that we need to know in order to find all of our values. We need to first find our t star, or our TC, depending upon how your textbook gives it to you. Um, remember, our formula for this is X bar plus or minus T star um, with the degrees of freedom of 19, S divided by square root of N, or you may have a different text. This is the text I currently teach from, uses presents the formula in this manner. So the formula may be slightly different than what you're used to. It's just because every textbook uses a slightly different interpretation, um, but they all mean the same thing. They all calculate the same thing. Um, and this is saying when E is equal to TC, S divided by square root of N. Okay, so to find the T star using the graphing calculator, what you would do, and to me it's almost easier just to use the table, um, but what we would do is I'm going to go to a calculator screen, and on my calculator screen I'm going to go to statistics and distributions, and then I'm going to go to inverse T. Inverse T will help us find our T score. The area that we are looking for anytime we are looking for a confidence interval is half of or 0.5 times 1 minus the level of confidence. So in this case, our level of confidence is 0.99. And our degrees of freedom, remember, was 19 because our sample was size 20, so we just did 20 minus 1. And it gives us the negative value. We typically write it as the positive, so 2.86093. 
or we could just round this to 2.861. And this is what your um, table value would give you is the 2.861. So we have enough information to plug it in. So our X bar is 33.7, plus or minus our 2.861, S is 6.8, and 20 is our sample size. So this is basically just showing out the work. The plus or minus can also be written into just like this one, so it's just a matter of this one to me is more time consuming, so I write that. And then I'm going to use the graphing calculator to actually get the answer. So the answer for this one, to get the whole interval, we can go to Menu, Statistics, whoops, and then choose Confidence Intervals. And this one, the name of it is the T interval, since we're dealing with the T score. Um, it, the first thing it's going to ask you is, do you know the data or do you know the st stats? And we know the stats this time because we don't have anything to put into a spreadsheet. If we have something to put into a spreadsheet, we would use um, the data. And then we just simply plug in our information, 33.7. Um, our sample standard deviation is 6.8. Our sample size is 20. And our level of confidence is 0.99. And then the calculator automatically plugs it into that formula. The lower right here is our lower limit, the 29.3499. The 38.0501 is our upper. If you're looking for the margin of error, this one actually does give you the margin of error. It's 4.35. Um, so I'm just going to write this down. Our lower limit, like I said, is 29.3498. The upper is 38.0502. And for this, remember that we want to always put it back in context of the original problem. So we would go back up, and remember we're talking about the mean commute time to work. So for this population, we can say with 99% confidence, the population mean commute time is between 29.2498 and 38.0502 minutes. Okay. Remember with a confidence interval, we're 99% confident that this mean or that this interval contains the true mean. Um, it is possible to completely miss the mean, but 99% of the confidence intervals generated out of the population um, of size 20 will contain this, um, the true mean. As always, thanks for watching.